Head. What is head? It's a pointer. It's a reference variable. It points to a commit. Not in a direct way, though. It always points to the tip of the current branch in my repository. The keywords here are current and branch. Head points to the place in the repository where the new commits get added. If head is moved back to a previous commit, then the writing of new commits happens over there. Branches, I check out a branch that makes that the current branch. Head points to the tip of the current branch. Okay, I'm going to show you what the head file looks like. Okay, let's see. We are in the home directory. I'm going to switch to, there it is, git practice. So I'm going to cd into dot git. What do we have here? We have a, a file called head, okay, cat head. Okay, the word ref is stands for reference, and it's giving me a relative directory. It's saying that the branch we're on is master, and this is the relative path to the file that points to the master commit. Okay, let's go and see what's in there. So cd refs heads. Let's see what's in here. Okay, there is a file called master. Let's see what's in there. It lists the ID value of a commit. So I guess master branch points to that commit. So as you can see, head doesn't point directly to a commit. It points to a branch, and the branch points to a commit. All right, let me run the command git log. All right, see, it shows me that commit ID that we were looking at because that's the tip and there's only one commit here in this repository. Now I want to emphasize something. git log is the same as running the command git log head. Let me show it to you. Add the word head here. Okay, see it gives us the same thing. What git log does is it shows the commits for head, for the branch that head points to.